how DNA codes for proteins. An important thing to realize is that after water, you mainly consist of proteins. Your hair, for instance, is mainly keratin, a protein. Your muscles consist solely of the proteins actin and myosin. Your blood largely consists of hemoglobin. If things in your body are not proteins, such as your bones, then proteins make those things. Enzymes, which are also proteins, can create things like bone or other compounds. Essentially, everything interesting about you is made of protein. You consist of around 30,000 different proteins. Now, what are proteins? You can imagine a protein as a string of pearls. The pearls, the building blocks of proteins, are amino acids. Proteins are just chains of linked amino acids. There are around 20 different amino acids, 20 different pearls from which you can create any protein just by varying the number and types of pearls used. The trick is that the recipes for all these different proteins for all these different strings of pearls are encoded in the DNA. How does that work? DNA, in turn, consists of four building blocks called nucleotides, adenine, cytosine, guanine, and thymidine, abbreviated A, C, G, A, and T. The key is that every three letters of DNA tell which amino acid to incorporate into the protein. This is called the genetic code. This code was unraveled in the 1960s. Imagine we are making a protein. We have already placed some amino acids and now need to add the next one, the amino acid coded by the letters CTG. We look it up in the table. What amino acid is coded by CTG? Lu, leucine indeed. So we add leucine to the growing chain. Next, ACC codes for TR, threonine. Then comes alanine. Finally, GAG codes for glutamine. This protein is hemoglobin, an important component of your blood. The entire code for hemoglobin is around 420 nucleotides long. Divided by three, that makes around 140 amino acids.